and my muñecas. So I didn't get to put a um, end of the month favorites because I did my Q&A. So this week I thought I would give you my end of the month favorites even though it's the beginning of September. But this is the end of August favorites since I wasn't able to um, do it since I did the Q&A. I think I just explained that. I used this off and on through the years before and I haven't really uh, kicked start it into it's basically a fitness uh, app it's called workouts and basically what it is is that it shows you I don't know if I can show you oh no ads <clears throat> uh, there we go kind of it shows you how to do abs, legs, arms, all that stuff. Um, yeah, ab, arm, butt, cardio, legs. So this has been my go-to and my favorite because I'm trying to get even more back into my workout and more back into my fitness because I'm not going to lie, I got a little lazy and it doesn't do you any good to be lazy, especially since I have to be fit for my wedding. <laughs> It is not good to be lazy. I saw the movie um, when it first came out and I finally have it on DVD, The Grand Budapest Hotel. I got this and it is just, oh my god, it's so hilarious. Not for kids though. Do not have kids in the room. This movie is rated R. Yeah. Language, some sexual content, and violence. So yes, The Grand Budapest Hotel absolutely hilarious I love it and it's just it's all around it's just fantastic fantastic movie but make sure you're in like a quiet environment like if you're in your room or something or if you need headphones or whatever just make sure it's quiet because there are some points where like if something's too loud you might miss something it's just that's just how this movie is some movies are like that and this is one of those movies okay, next favorite is the L'Oreal nude palette number two I don't have the number one yet because they were out but oh my god let me just say I have never loved a makeup palette so much in my life the the colors are absolutely like amazing like these colors are so beautiful I love them all. You probably can't see them too well, especially with my camera. But the they're, they're warm fall tones, but at the same time, with how us ladies do our makeup lately, what is a fall tone anymore? <laughs> but anyways, these are just amazing. And the um, number one nude palette, that one has lighter tones. But still, like, you can, again, wear them, whatever. And so, I just have to say, I love the colors. As you, I don't know if you already saw, I've already used it. And these are the best for smoking out your eye. These are the best for just any kind of, you know, smoky detail that you want. But for me, I think, um, I used it basically for a blackout. Not blackout, like, I didn't completely black out my eye. But it was a, um... No, well, I guess maybe you can call it a smoky eye. I always thought to me personally a smoky eye was when it was just smoky right here and not so much here. But for me, I did it all the way through and darkened out my eye. And I just have to say I love it. Um, these colors don't have names really. They're just colors. Um, and on the back of it, there's even some pointers on different styles of how you can do your eye and what color to use and this and that and so I think the first one obviously would have it too but I love that the Revlon color burst uh, matte balm which is what I'm wearing right now oh my god I love it it has sort of a um, a peppermint smell to it but not bad it's not overpowering it smells almost I don't know it smells good it just it I love it when a lipstick or something just smells good whether it's just a minty flavor or something but a lot of people are you like oh if it's minty that means it's a plumper this isn't a plumper 
Um, it just has a little bit of a mint smell. Um, oh, I think it smells good. But anyways, I love this so much. It glides on so well. And you know how sometimes when you glide on the top lip and on the side, you have like just that little niche right there? You can wipe it off and it will not over smear, which is a big, big plus, which I love. But um, this has become a very, very much go-to lately. I've worn this a couple times already out and I've gotten compliments on it. And what's crazy is that it mats so well and so, f like, it glides on, but it mats so freaking well. Like, it's amazing. I love it. I need to get more colors of this. Um, the reason why I got the purple is because it just, I needed a purple. And this is just amazing. I fell in love with it. So I want to get more of the colors. This is um, 215. It's called Shameless. And this is just amazing. I have this huge issue. I love taking care of my teeth. And I was using the regular Listerine that obviously just for me wasn't doing it. So we started using this Listerine. It's a new bottle because um, I ran out of my other one. Um, the reason why I switched it up with a different Listerine is because it has more benefits than the other one. The other one did kill germs, but it didn't have as many benefits as I needed as I felt like my teeth needed. And this, it helps prevent cavities, strengthens teeth, kills bad breath germs, cleans the whole mouth, restores enamel, and freshens breath. And um, the restore enamel is what really popped out to me because, again, we all love taking care of our teeth. And when I see that on a bottle, it's just amazing. So it has six benefits in one. And it really, 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 like, it works amazing. And I have seen a huge difference in my teeth and um, how fast, you know, my breath changes. Everybody has a breath change, especially after they brush their teeth or they've been having coffee or tea or whatever. They have a breath change. But with this, it has been so completely different. And I absolutely love it. Actually, I wanted to share this book with you guys. I am a huge fan of Ava Gardner. She is absolutely inspirational. She is one hell of a woman. She, oh my God, she has had a hell of a life. She's been married to some of the most famous people in Hollywood. And one of them is uh, Mr. Frank Sinatra himself. And she has had such a wonderful life. And the person that had this conversation with her to write this book... I mean, I couldn't put it down. I have read this book, I don't know how many times already. Like, you just don't want to put it down and you want to read it more than once. So I recommend this book big time. Ava Gardner, The Secret Conversation. I recommend it, like, immensely, immensely. I recommend this book. It is just absolutely amazing. It's so good. I wish I had a paperback version just so I could take that traveling because it's hard to take a hardcover book traveling. The new style that has been going around, the whole big t-shirt thing. I know a lot of people are like, well, that style's been in. Well, it kind of came back even better. We're wearing like either really cool leggings or even no leggings, depending how risque you want to be, even with some knee-high socks or whatever, and some super cute heels. Like not over the top, like, some people say like stripper heels or whatever, but no, some elegant heels. I'm going to throw a name out there, Kylie Jenner. She has been known to wear giant t-shirts um, with just regular knee-high shoes or just cute little, um, little pumps, which is a very cute style. I have seen some other celebrities do it, but she is more well known to wear that style. And um, I have to say... Like, it's just an easy thing. Easy, easy, easy. Lemon squeezy. Um, I got this at Target. You can probably get it anywhere. It's a hands shirt. I got the double XL. And it, honestly, it fits amazing. And not only that, but you can stretch out the neck to do that slouch. Now, if you've seen in one of my previous videos, I believe I wore an oversized one in um, my Q&A actually and if you see that I slouched the shirt all I had to do was stretch out the neck I didn't even have to cut it I thought I would have to but all I had to do was stretch out the neck and all I have to say is 
so comfortable. I wore some super cute leggings with it and then some really nice heels and everybody thought it was a total couture kind of thing. All I have to say is it does not cost a lot of money to look good. My last two favorites are going to be food. Uh, this one is the green chili salsa gluten-free baked chips. These are amazing and they are vegan friendly. There's no dairy, no nut, no soy, no egg. And it even says on the uh, it even says on the back vegan friendly, uh, no trans fat, no cholesterol, um, peanut free, baked not fried, all that good stuff. Certified kosher. This uh, the these chips are so delicious. I just oh my god, they're so yummy. And my last thing that I want to share with you guys is, okay, we all love cherries, even though I feel bad for some people who are actually allergic to cherries. I'm allergic to a piece of fruit myself. I'm allergic to pineapple. But this is just one of the most delicious juices. It's by Welchers, and it is the um, no sugar added, two servings of fruit, 100% juice, white grape cherry. I love any juice with cherry in it. I am just obsessed with the taste of cherry. Just like my other favorite um, by, what is it, Ocean Spray. Uh, I love their cran cherry juice. So good. It's just delicious. And I just love cranberry juice also. But anything with cherries in it, I absolutely love. Um, but yeah, those are my favorites for right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And if you want to share the video, that is up to you. But please subscribe and like, and I will put out a video every week. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to make an announcement. I am thinking of starting this project of every Wednesday posting a video. And I'm not quite sure if it's going to happen yet. But if it is, stay tuned. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, my muñecas.